is Stephanie Rootberger, and I'm the Adult Education Coordinator at the Career Learning Center of the Black Hills, and I'm also the Region 5 representative for CoWave. And I'm so excited to be with you today and be able to introduce you to Rebecca Hannon, who wrote Combating Attention Deficits with Mind Mapping Tools. Rebecca, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah. Uh... Thank you for that introduction. Yeah, so my name is uh, Rebecca Hannon, and I teach in Aiken, South Carolina with the Aiken County Adult Education Program. Been there for about five years now. Prior to that, I was a high school social studies teacher. Um, so, I, you know, I, I have about 16 years in education, and um, I said the last about five have been with adult education. It's been an awesome opportunity and just learn and grow so much working with these uh, adult learners. So Rebecca, why did you decide to write for the COAB Journal and about mind mapping in particular? Yeah, I think, you know, this was a uh, kind of a personal and professional uh, exploration for me. When I came to adult education, um, I quickly realized we, we see a lot of uh, students that, that have a lot of challenges. And unfortunately, for many of them, uh, they've had negative school experiences in the past and, and, and haven't had much success. Um, and, and what I've kind of find over the last few years is, unfortunately for a lot of these students, they suffer from attention deficits. And they, for some of them, this is, you know, they, uh, they were identified in school and, and some were not and some, you know, didn't realize they have some different learning characteristics. And so for me, like I said, this has been a journey, uh, both personally and professionally. It's been something I've been able to dive into. And in writing this article, I got to do a little bit more research and, and find out more about attention deficit disorders and, and how to help our students. And so with mind mapping, mind mapping is an incredible tool um, that really can help um, these struggling learners. So how will adult education practitioners benefit from reading about using mind maps and, and how is it going to benefit those learners? Yeah, well, I think any adult education practitioner will tell you that GED is no easy test. Um, when it was changed in, in 2014 to meet the Common Core Standards, it, it requires a lot of reading, a lot of reasoning, in-depth analysis, and Unfortunately, you know, again, for our learners that have these academic challenges, um, they, they struggle. They struggle with that ability to focus, to, to have that attention, that ability to memorize some of this data that they have to. Or, um, and, and so I hope through this article, as I kind of spotlighted uh, attention deficit disorders, that I'll bring some awareness to um, some key practices that maybe we can utilize in our classrooms, some different alternative methods to teaching, one being through mind mapping tools. Um, you know, I think for me, again, personally, I, you know, we know our students, they come to us with these unique abilities. And we have to be that, uh, that person that kind of transforms their past thinking and, but we have to be willing to think outside the box. And so with mind mapping, it allows that, um, and so, yeah, through the article, I just hope that teachers are able um, to get some different ideas of how to help their students and how to help them um, navigate this test and achieve some academic success on it. Sure. Um, you actually answered my next question right there. So uh, the other thing I just wanted to ask is, do you think that um, by using those mind maps um, that your adult education practitioners might really see increases because the students are able to memorize by the association? Or is it more of that subliminal exposure? What do you think there? I think for our learners, uh, these learners that suffer from attention deficits, the ability to actively engage and construct and create their own way of thinking. We're providing that guidance through the, uh, these mind maps or concept mapping, um, as sometimes the name gets interchanged there, um, but they're able to make those connections. It's not just information that's here it is, you got to retain it. Um, it they're, they're building those connections themselves. And so, because we know everybody's brain's a little different, um, and with attention deficit, it's, it's not necessarily a disability. It's just a different ability. And so that's what I really think mind mapping allows for, the creation of their own visualization, the use of color, uh, the use of arrows, of pictures. It, yeah, it's, I think that will um, really help these learners. Sure. 
yeah, what the students produce sticks with them. Mm -hmm. Totally. Absolutely. So do you have any other additional comments or thoughts you'd like to share with the readers of the Kuwait Journal? Not really. I, like I said, I, I'm still learning through the process, so um, no means am I an expert, um, but, but I have seen a little bit of success with it. Um, you know, our, the learners that come to us, they can do. Um, we just, we have to find some creative and some alternative methods to, to get the information that we know is on the GED and on these standardized tests that they're taking. And, and so I hope through uh, the article um, and through the uh, utilization of mind maps that some of these students can have some better success. So. Well, thank you so much for writing for the Coed Journal and thank you for giving all the teachers one more tool in their tool chest that they can use when they see these students with attention deficit. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much.